It's me, your girl Judy. I'm back with another like vlog forward slash episode of me talking to myself. So I'm adding a little bit more structure to, to, to this week's talking to myself from now on and moving forward. Firstly, the first structure is that I will always have a set number of questions. Last week, I did not have a set number of questions. And I think that's why I was so like... I think, I think that's why I was surprised that I didn't get through all the questions. I, I wasn't trying to be like, oh my god, I really don't know how to speak in a paced manner. No. <laughs> it, I just, I had no boundaries last week. So it was just, let's figure it out. Let's try it out and let's give it a shot. It was basically just to get into like the habit of like the humdrumness of me doing these things. Fine. So... One, I need structure. Two is that I'm not going to do all of the asking and answering the questions in a minute. It's unrealistic. It's unrealistic and it, it was mean. It was mean of myself to do that to myself. And so we're not going to do it this week. What we are going to do this week is that I am going to give myself six. No, I'm, I'm asking and answering six questions, but I'm giving myself three minutes. And remember, I gave myself five second grace period this week it's going to be a 10 second grace period because i need to come back to notes and read off i'm, I'm going to read off because that way i stay i stay in in my budget okay so there's that then i'm trying different parts of my house okay and right now the sun the sun is finally coming out in in, in china and in shanghai we're walking into like summertime and so i'm making great use of the sun being on this side of my windows and it just it, it works it works i like what it's doing it looks good i'm also not using my phone to record because my phone is old i'm long overdue for an upgrade but i'm not giving myself an upgrade because i like to shop and so this year i am not allowed to do any impulse shopping i have to come i have to come correct so like i'm budgeting and even though the only responsibility I have is myself in life and in general. I mean, I, I give myself other responsibilities, but I'm not allowed by myself. I'm not allowed by myself to just do random shopping. And then at the end of like a semester or like at the end of like a term or at the end of a, a, a long period of time, I'm just like, what did I do with that money? I'm sick and tired of asking myself that question. Or you know that meme when they say when you realize who's been spending all of your money and the person is choking their shadow. I got sick and tired of that. So I'm not allowed to shop and I'm thinking about my next like upgrade and purchase. So that's why. And the video quality was cool on my phone, but it was just, it was, it was limiting me in certain places. But either way, we're not here for that. We are here so that I can time myself talking to myself, asking myself a, a, a six questions. Okay, cool. Let's get into it. I'm going to my, I'm going to the um, timer. And you see over there, three minutes. I don't know if you can see that. Three minutes and 10 seconds. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. Oh, ooh. <laughs> I pressed start and I didn't go to um, um, notes. Okay, cool. So the first question is what's your favorite item in your closet all of my clothes i love clothes again i love to shop okay i've told on myself before i absolutely love buying shoes like if i can get like the right shoes and when i say the right shoes i mean like unnecessary weirdly shaped um yeah i like some length but it hurts my feelings and it hurts my toes as well um i, I love like jackets I don't do like casual looks, so I don't have like, I have I have statement pieces, but I, I don't have like, oh, I have a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. I have two pairs of jeans and they're both mom jeans. I think I have another like, like skinny jeans, but they never look like skinny jeans on me because my thighs and my legs, weird combination. But either way, <clears throat> that's what's in my closet. Okay, cool. Let's move on. If you had one day left to live, what would you do? I would love, like, 
for instance in the current climate that we're living in right now if these were the last days i would love to actually go around visiting people who i enjoy visiting people that i like could be family could be friends could be lovers whatever just visiting people not living with people visiting people as in be there for a couple of days max a week and then like take a little break and then go see somebody else couple of days max a week take a little break and do it again and repeat okay next question can systems thinking improve productivity of a project of course of course because the main i feel like the main definition for systems is that it organizes things so systems organize things systems allow you to plan things um systems will give you rules and they'll give you boundaries so you know exactly what you're doing with who and how and systems gen whatever system that you're putting in place will generally dictate what the end goal is supposed to be or what what you aim to do it by the end of it okay cool answer that let's keep it moving what's next what's next for me is definitely i'm moving out of like um china in the long run not right now i'm still committed to, till the end of my contract unless somebody um just honors that contract um, i think i've done i think i've done what i came to do here in china for myself and also for the community that i live and work in so i yeah it's time for me to move on this isn't my home okay recall a time you felt confident and successful reflect on the steps you took to get to that point i think that, um i think I've started since like a few not a few years like maybe like last year or the year before I started like to come like to ask myself like when did I let myself go and I'm not talking about physically but like when I stopped believing that me being me was enough and I started wanting to like do things to make other people happy and not to make me happy um the last a long period of time I can remember is ah <laughs> Okay, we did it. <laughs> oh, I was really getting into that answer. I really was getting into that answer. Well, I had six questions and I asked five of those questions and I gave you four solid answers and I was on my way to answering the fifth question. By my standards, I just did that. Okay, I just did that. So yes, I'm really excited about um, I'm getting like this practice and like it's it, I can see the results of it I can I can feel it within myself so yay we well we did it I did it <laughs> team effort um yeah great so that's awesome I think that's wonderful that I actually got to talking you know what I mean like I, I didn't get in my way which is awesome another thing that I'll be doing with this the, with this vlogging is I will be like giving an example of like negative self-talk and positive self-talk in relation to whatever it's about so this week and the reason why i'm doing that is that this year i wrote down one of my major goals is to actually be nicer to myself in my head um i may not mean some of the things that i say to myself but some of the things that i say to myself can be mean and i just i want to change that for myself and just also like when I change it for myself, I feel like then I'll approach people differently. I'll be kinder, a little bit more understanding. I think I struggle with understanding other people and not giving myself enough slack. So that's why I'm practicing better self-talk habits with myself. And so a negative thing that we can all get in that we like to we may say or can get in the habit of saying is I'll disappoint everyone if I change my mind. Ah, correction <laughs> because the direct opposite of that the positive of that is I have the power to change my mind and others will understand exactly okay exactly so we need to stop seeing it as oh my god they won't be happy with me oh my god oh my gosh oh my Allah oh my whatever if I do this, this is what, no, it doesn't matter. I, you can change your mind. You are allowed to change your mind. And forget the cancel culture committee that tells you that if you change your mind, it's because you weren't being true or you were lying. No, you are allowed to change your mind and just reflect on what you um, have done and or have said. Take it back where you can apologize if you need to. But you can actually, you have the power to change your mind. And by doing that, 
which you can actually just reflect change your mind and then move on other people understand if they don't it says more about them than it will ever say about you that's none of your business none of your business what they want to do with their lives either way thank you for coming to this week's um me talking to myself i did outstandingly well um i think I'm, i'm feeling really good about this practice time that i'm putting in and yeah catch me somewhere somewhere around like the other parts of this www place um wild world wide web i struggle saying that um instagram you have to do the work facebook you have to do the work linkedin you have to do the work twitter you have to do the work i do need to work on my twitter and my linkedin but instagram and facebook i think i'm i'm like i'm enjoying it more which is great and our website www.yhtdtw.com like subscribe follow become a team member just become a team member you know you want to you know you want to